that you, you guys don't get a ton of rest. I mean, it's it's a good thing. That means you guys were playing in the finals, but it's not a lot of time. And here you guys are back on the field already again. How was that process? Um, yeah, you definitely have to adjust. Um, you know, we're talking of uh, a big difference in terms of how long the offseason is if you don't make the playoffs. October, you're done. Um, if, you, if you make it and you push all the way to, to the end that we did, uh, December 9th, it's a big difference. Um, so I, I, I think for veterans, we have quite a lot of veterans that uh, know their bodies. Uh, I think we have staff who are aware of uh, the demand and, uh, and uh, the punishment that we put our bodies through in the last two years for guys who have been on the field cons uh, consistently. So uh, uh, adjustments definitely have to be made. Um, with that being said, it's a bit tricky because we have uh, an early game coming up with CONCACAF, uh, shortening that, that off season even more. So uh, I think we're all aware of it, um, of the fact that we have to be careful, but of the fact that we have to uh, make sure we're ready uh, quickly. Um, so I think um, uh, maybe lower reps, um, but high quality is what we're looking for. What did you do just in the in this short off season you had? I mean, you know, I went on a cookie binge first, <laughs> uh, which was needed um, for about a week, um, and then um, and my wife and I went to Mexico just to sh uh, you know just to shut down and just to really recharge the batteries for a little bit, which was. Uh, uh, I really needed that, and it was it was amazing. Exactly what I needed personally, and uh, I mean, e even during that time, I already started working out again because um, this, this uh, off season is so short. In terms of uh, busy, being fit and physically in decent shape, you don't you don't really want to turn off completely because uh, uh, you're gonna lose it. By the time you have to you get get back up, you you just uh, create more work for yourself, if you will. So I uh, just kind of try to maintain a little bit of shape, and then. Uh, Come, come January 1st, uh, I was back in here pretty much um, all week and, until we started again. So uh, try to stay away from uh, goalkeeping a little bit and just really uh, take the opportunity to maybe reshape my body a little bit because uh, um, in, in the gym during the season we can't really do that. You know, you, you can't work too hard because uh, you can't be sore on weekends. You can't be uh, manipulating your body, changing your body. So uh, I, I viewed those two and a half, three weeks as uh, an opportunity to do that. Maybe gain a bit of uh, strength in certain aspects of, of uh, my body composition, and and but now happy to finally get back on the pitch. Was so it the balance between you trying to gain the strength and flexibility, right? Because you, you still have to stay flexible. Mm -hmm. How do you balance that? Those two things. Um, yoga is a good way. Um, uh, I enjoy yoga. Um, I've heard good things of, of players who have been able to prolong their careers. That yoga helped them tremendously, like uh, Brad Friedel, for example. So uh, um, there's definitely a balance to, 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 to try to, to find. Um, and uh, it's important that you have good people around you. And uh, I believe in our, our, our crew, strength and conditioning, uh, trainers, uh, they're all top notch. And so it's easy to just kind of follow their lead. Did you get a different sense of um, what it was like with just the players in here uh, during the we run up to, this week, up to this week in terms of guys uh, coming in on their own and, and working or knowing that there's an earlier uh, competitive match? Um, I mean, it's always uh, difficult because some people are, um, this is their home here. Some people are uh, a bit closer. Others, uh, you know, they, they, they have precious few moments uh, back in Uruguay or wherever they are. So uh, I, I think, again, I think we, we put the onus on, on players to really a, keep themselves in good shape and prepare themselves to be ready for preseason. Um, but also for them to realize uh, maybe are these precious moments, uh, value them and make the most of them because who knows when you get a chance to go back. So uh, I think uh, fully recharging your batteries in that way can sometimes be even more important than coming, coming in a day or two early uh, or earlier. So uh, I, I think uh, we've done that again. Um, like I said, when I came back in early January, uh, there was already a handful of guys back, and uh, we made the most of it in the gym and, uh, and on the field, getting a couple touches in. But uh, I'm sure the guys that weren't there at that time made sure they were doing stuff as well. Do you feel like uh, the Sounders and other MLS teams are at, at, at some type of disadvantage playing Champions League without the rhythm that maybe Mexican teams or other teams have already playing the league? Uh, I mean that's not specifically for the Sounders. That, that's all the last teams that are. Yeah, they're, they're resting. Yeah. So do you feel like uh, they're they're at a disadvantage? Yeah, um, hundred uh, percent. 
you're going into a, a meaningful game essentially in the middle of your preseason or you're going into it halfway into your regular season, there's a, there's a big, big difference. Um, there's not two ways about it. Did you do any artwork during the offseason? Any, any stuff? Yes, I did. Um, actually working on on my own label. Um, secured my own domain, domain already, which was weird, but kind of cool. Um, so I'm in the process of doing some things, but uh, also in the process of uh, um, trying to uh, further engage with the community and do community work uh, as well. Uh, maybe use my art uh, in that aspect as well. So we'll see. And you don't want to wear a jacket to show how tough you are? <laughs> um, I just came out of the shower, which was a warm shower. Now it's cold out here. Part of contrast, I'm being a professional. You yeah. mentioned the, coo the cookie binge. So what cookie and how many cookies a day? Oh, shout out to my wife here. No, um, no I, I'm a, I, I love the Metropolitan Market cookie. <laughs> Who doesn't, right? Um, and my wife's actually uh, kind of, we've, we've made a little cookie uh, recipe. It's hers. And, and we've kind of tried to emulate that recipe a little bit. And we, we freeze them afterwards because then I can, when I really want a cookie, I can make it fresh. It's better than a stale cookie. So we got a cookie game down. <laughs> what type though? Can you reveal? Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate chip chocolate. with... Uh, with walnuts, uh, two different chocolate types. Got to make sure it's two different ones, and some some sea salt, some Himalayan salt on the outside. Yeah, it's quite good. <laughs>